I found a lot of uh, discrimination in the hair when I went to a more black populated school than when I was at Barnard. At mm -hmm. Barnard, yeah. I, I, you, you know, you rolled, day. girl, you know there were many a days when we did. <laughs> you just rolled out of bed and you just walked past <laughs> yeah. and nobody cared. But when I went to Philly, the temple, I mean, mm -hmm. everybody, I don't know how these women do it. They're in law school. Every day, their hair is perfect. Now, I had the same experience because I went to Barnard and I didn't care about my hair. I could get up in the morning, put on a cap. It was not a problem or wear it anyway. Braids, perm, jerry curl, who cares? You know what I'm saying? So you just keep, you, you just get up, you push, push your fingers through it and keep going. It's, it's funny, when you're a student at Barnard, no one cares. Right. It's like, it doesn't matter. But when you become the administration, right. oh, there's a marked difference. All the people with like braids, like my hair, or some of the women with like with perms, but you know with like supposedly more outlandish styles with finger waves or that sort of stuff. <laughs> Secretaries, administrative assistants, mailroom. You get to administration, you're right. I mean, you have to change the way you do your hair. It's no longer these creative, you know, expression of self styles. No, it's conformity. You know, plain, don't stand out, that kind of stuff. that whole thing with the blonde hair and the blue and green eye contact lenses. I mean, I think that's a whole beauty issue that black women have been forced to deal with for centuries about like how white women are these beauties and black women have these problems and you dye your hair blonde and you get blue contact lenses and you are doing nothing but trying to be white. I mean, there's like, there's no, you can't read anything else into that. I'm sorry, it's not a fashion statement. I don't know what you want to call it, but you're trying to be closer to white people. Because I remember people, uh, a couple of years back, there was a big thing with fades and, and making them blonde. And so I don't remember such uh, an issue being made about racial politics over that. And that's because their hair was natural, but it was yeah. blonde. See what I'm saying? Exactly. So yeah. when you have it pressed and it's blonde, then it's an issue of you trying to be white. You know, like you want the white look of having it cascading and flowing and doing this with it and I don't know so it's weird I mean because I do believe people should have the freedom to be as versatile as they want to be you know on the one end I mean if you think you're gonna look good with blonde hair <laughs> go right on the head but you know I mean it's always an issue of of where a person's consciousness is where their mind is when they do it um, and you know I mean you can never get there you know because half the time is none of your business like Dennis Rodman has his hair blonde and that does not make him any less of black basketball star but when a woman wears it you know the issue has been trivialized to does that make her less black and I don't think I don't think it should I, I really don't think should. no I'm, I'm not saying, saying that you are but I'm saying females people or females I think it's a it's a black people issue I don't think I don't, it's, a, it's I think, a black female issue I think I think what it is is cosmetics I mean it's just like it, it's it, it can be as easily translated as when people said when you relax your hair you know, you're trying to be more European. I think it's all cosmetic, though. I think it has nothing to do with your consciousness. If you're doing it because people tell you that you have bad hair, no, I think there is something wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, if I you're dyeing your hair blonde because somebody if, tells you you look better like that, I'm like, if, well, why do you have to look better like that? You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. But, but, but I'm not saying you do it's a things you, you, issue. I think it's people telling you that you look bad. If but you people have can tell you that you look skin. bad in like. Certain colors. I mean, for years, people tell me, oh, you can't wear certain colors because it looks bad on you. What does that reflect? Nothing but cosmetics, I think. I think it's a different It depends issue. on no, how you with, take with it. Hair, that's, that's, I think that's a little different, deeper than cosmetics. It I'm can not be. sure. It can be. But I'm not if, sure it necessarily is. Well, well, it, I guess it would depend on the person right. and what your consciousness yeah. is. Exactly. Because exactly. If, my, if you say, okay, you look better in reds, okay, I look better in reds, but does that mean I'm going to dye my skin red? No, <laughs> means okay, I'm gonna change for sure, I'm gonna change for this, I'm change for that. But if you tell me, oh, you will look great as a blonde, I will look at you like, okay, you're an alien because blonde hair is not like all that more beautiful than anything else I would wear. And I think more men had, had the blonde tint because they had fade and it was more acceptable for men to have right. a shorter hair. But the woman from Arrested Development, the dancer, uh, just last year she had her hair, you know, in a fade, you know, short, and she had it blonde, and I thought she looked pretty good, you know. But then again, when I saw, Janet Jackson's Love Will Never Do Without You video, I did have a heart attack because I did feel, I mean, part of me did feel like she was trying to be white, you know, and it's, it's hard, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I personally feel that, I, well, personally,
personally, I usually I feel that you know, blonde hair is just not something black women should have. But that's my personal choice. Mm -hmm. Like everything else, you know. But Janet, I, I can't choose for other people. She had the plastic surgery and everything else. So like, and okay, the and the contact lenses. So it was like a whole package. I'm like, okay, if just the hair was blonde and everything else is natural, okay, maybe she's just a she's a performer. She's going to do crazy things. But she thinned down her nose, and then her skin color is magically getting lighter. I'm like, hmm. And she dropped like 20 pounds. And then she pounds. dropped 20 pounds, like 20 or 30 pounds, like you said. And I remember like reading articles and all the things that she's harping on is on her, on her big butt. It's like, honey, you're black. You've got a black ass. What can you do? Get over it. <laughs> but it's, as she was harping on that and then harping on her eye color, I'm like, okay, see, now we're having a problem. It's like, what, do you, what kind of message are you sending out now? I mean, I still love her music and I still think she's great and everything, but I'm beginning to become concerned. I'm like, okay. What's going on? <laughs> okay, I, I, I wasn't trying to judge anybody. I'm not saying that all people who dye their hair blonde should go to hell and you know be <laughs> stoned to death or anything. I'm not saying it at all. I'm just saying that there is a history that I think we forget sometimes. I mean, and the history is, you know, from the time black people were brought over to this country, we were not considered attractive people. That is or not people. a fact, or even people for that matter. And now we're people, but we're just not attractive people. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, the wider hips, the bigger noses, the fuller lips, the hair, the eyes, the color of the skin, for black people has never been considered attractive. And I'm just saying, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with doing it. If you look good, fine. I'm saying there is a history. And there, I think that there are a lot of people doing it not for the wrong reasons for but for you know to think that they are more beautiful that way that the way that they were born naturally there's something wrong with it and that's because there are a lot of messages out there saying that Gloria brought up a really interesting point it's like for years you've been having these images thrown at us what is beautiful and it's never been dark hair and it was it's raven black and it's long and it's it's like uh no that's not me either and it's always been blonde and blue eyed the flaxen haired beauty the fair skinned beauty so I guess that it's kind of hard for us just to ignore it because I mean for 500 years it's been thrown at us. So when you do see women like that, your first your first instance like, okay, what are you doing, sister? Do I have to lead you back? <laughs> <laughs> My original point was more in in terms of contrasting permed hair versus natural hair because if someone mm -hmm. does it when their hair is natural, it's you know, accepted. it's more accepted. If you have a blonde tint, if your hair is red, I mean like I mean like there are people with red tints. You know, and then some people that went as far as blonde. So, in talking about blonde hair and the images that are out there, I think that we think twice about someone who has permed hair and who has it blonde versus someone who has a fade and has the top tinted blonde. And that was just my point, you know, just about, you know, I mean, I didn't hear too much said about someone thinking that they were white because their hair was natural. So, is it the color or is it the texture? I just start thinking about those issues. I'm not saying that they're wrong for doing it. Right. I'm just saying mm -hmm. I just think about those issues and wondering if they're thinking about those issues and what messages they're sending to their kids and to their peers and, you know, to their elders. You know, like, are you saying that you're not acceptable the way that you were born or do you just not give a shit? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's like, it could be either or. I don't know. Black women are discriminated against in American society for for being who they are, for, for having the skin that they have, for having the hair that they have. I think we tend to take our issues out on each other instead of, you know, going straight to the source of that.